Hey. What's up? What's up? I'm chilling. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You gotta. I gotta apologize because I'm I'm completely completely Instagram illiterate. So it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Sometimes that happens when you gotta upgrade the app. It it won't let you request. So it's cool. Yeah, I don't never even know. It's, I never see you go. I don't even see you on Instagram at all. So. That's Saying I, I'm rarely on it, you know. I, I, uh, I, I need to go. I need to come on it more, though. I'm trying. <laughs> and you about to fight June 19th? Right? June 19th. Okay, <laughs> this your first fight. Well, you fought last year in 2020. Yeah. <laughs> but this your first it's, fight since everything. Are you gonna have fans in this fight? Is it back to normal? Uh, okay. Where's the fight at? It's uh at the Marlin Stadium in, in uh, Miami. I know everybody's fighting in Miami, it seems like. Look, Florida, Texas, and Vegas. Fuck it. You know why? Because you can have fans. <laughs> so. Whoever opening up. That's right. That's what's up. Probably going to be a nice crowd out there, too. Yeah, yeah. I think so. You know, everybody's, like, hungry. You know, last time uh, when it was uh, spring break, you know, they had to close close um, Miami down over there. So Yeah. So it should be, should be nice. Um. You back training? Yeah, I've been working, working out hard. Um, this is this next um, thing for me is going to be really interesting because I haven't, I really haven't. This is my, I'm really getting my feet wet. You know what I'm saying? I'm really finding a consistent base. I'm mm -hmm. really starting to feel a little more established. You know, um, from all the grind. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm going to be peaking. You know what I'm saying? Real soon. Mm -hmm. And where are you training at right now? I train at Bones Adams Boxing Gym in Las Vegas. Okay. So you're out in Vegas. Okay. Yep, yep. From Vegas. My little brother. Me and we've been out here for a long time, you know. Nice. Okay. They, how you how you feeling like physically, mentally, everything right now, training for your next fight? I feel good. I feel good. Uh, you know, I had a, you know, I was a I had a little situation with the purse bid. I I, I had a purse bid. I was the mandatory for the IBF. Uh, and I was supposed to fight uh, Philip Hergovich. Okay. And, uh, you know, Eddie Hearn, see, I was, you know, I was trying to do some different things about winning the purse bid. And, um, you know, uh, you know, it's just the game that they play. So, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, but it was, it was as far as the purse bid situation. And um, uh, so, you know, I just kind of, you know, made my own little route. So that's, that's what we're doing right now. Okay. And who, are you still? Are you signed with Eddie Hearn? No, I'm not signed with Eddie Hearn. Okay. I signed with Eddie Hearn, then he released me. They, he released me. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you know the backstory. Like, no, tell me. It, so I was signed with him, um, and I originally got on the t on, on with him because I saved one of his shows. It was in Monaco, mm -hmm. and one of the heavyweights pull, pulled out, and I okay. and I just had fought Martin Bacoli. Okay. Um, yeah, familiar with Martin Bacoli. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just stopped him like three weeks, and then they called me back. You know, so uh, you know, then I fought there in three weeks to save the show. I was the best one on the show. Wow. Then they, you know, then I end up signing with Match. That was like a one fight type of deal. Then I end up mm -hmm. signing a three fight deal with Match. Mm -hmm. I was more like the, you know, I wasn't really embraced with by Match as far as I'm concerned, you know, I was more like somebody, you know, who wears the briefcase and goes to work, you know what I'm saying? When they yeah. call, me, then I'm in need, you know what I'm saying? So, and then I started calling myself crisis control because every show that pulled out was a heavyweight, you know, I have my hand up, you know? So basically you wasn't feeling the love from over there. Right. Okay. I wasn't, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't, um, feeling, I didn't feel disrespected either because I already knew what it was from the jump. You know, okay. So it wasn't like you know they were trying to con me. You know, in America, you know you 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 know they smile in your face and then they act a different way. You know. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so uh, it was cool just to get you know what I felt was well well I was well deserved or whatever what I could you know get. So then I I did the whole three fights and that's when I ended up fighting. Um, okay. Got to draw with him. Mhm. Mm I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that was in Saudi Arabia on the Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz undercard. Oh, that was, yes, yes. That was on the second fight undercard, right? Yes, yes. yes. I was on that fight. Yeah. Well, it was okay. the best fighting fight on that show. You know, I came out with the uh, with the Predator mask. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. so now you're kind of doing things independently on your own, kind of want your own yeah. little rap. Okay, how, how's that? How's that going? Do you feel better about that? Um. Yeah, in a sense, because I I got to a certain position, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's very it's very very hard to do it, you know any any other way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. By without signing with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, to do what I did was more like work for them, not work under them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, and when I was able to get out, I got out, you know. So, um, that's smart though. Yeah. Instead of you staying and feeling trapped, because really, it happens a lot. Yeah, and yeah. You can't leave, so you got out when you can get out. That's smart. Absolutely. It, it's just, I got people that were in the same position with me, uh, just like that, and they, you know, they're stuck, trapped, yeah, you know? Yeah. So, it happens all the time. They be sitting around for two, one, two years, they're not fighting, because, yeah, I see it all the time, so it's thank God that it happened with you. Right now, so, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, it's such a, a bad situation because this is how we make our living. You know what I'm saying? I know. This is not like, um, you know, it's not like we could, and we're, and we're getting damaged here. You know what I'm saying? We, we're sparring and working out and putting our body under high intense stress. You know what I'm saying? It's not mm -hmm. like, you know, we just go and sit in the office and, you know, our back is hurting because we've been sitting or our hands are getting carpal tunnel. You yeah. know, we're getting different type of, um, uh, um, damage to the body, so yeah. uh, you know it, the main thing is to get in and get out with your head on tack. You know, yeah. so. even y'all mental. Like I respect being in, going to the gyms and watching these fighters in camp. It's so much type of respect I have for y'all because even your mental has to be there. It's so being away from your family, that's sometimes right. being by yourself. That's that shit is hard. So exactly, exactly. You know, and that's the thing about the difference between like about like somebody like in a basketball or NBA or something. Mm -hmm. Only a certain certain short time span, and you know you ain't gonna make it. You know, in boxing, you you know uh, you have this longevity. You know that's why they always make uh, great boxing stories because mm -hmm. you know, in the woman, your woman is somebody who's a ride with you. You know what I'm saying? Not somebody yep. who latches on to you. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you know it's a different type of um, you know experience that you know these are, are these fighters are having. It's more uh, you know down to earth in a sense. You know. What's closer to you know the normal people's you know reality? Mm hmm. And let me ask you about the state uh, right now of heavyweight boxing. How you feeling about it? How do you think it is right now? In, in heavyweight boxing? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think it's good. It's moving. Uh, I think it, we need to find a plan. I think a lot of some of these trainers need to get together. Some of the uh, promoters or somebody needs to get together and figure out how to bring heavyweight boxing back to America. Yeah, yeah. We've yep. been missing for a long, for quite some time. And, mm -hmm. you know, most of this has to do with, you know, you think it's, it has to do with a fighter, but really it's it's the business of boxing. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's more, it's it's like an 80-20, you know what I'm saying? You got to only be a 20% good fighter and 80% business, do the right mm -hmm. business, you'll be in, this, in the right situation. So uh, I think some of these, promoters and and they need to come up with a plan to bring boxing back and not do it something for their self for for selfishness but for you know the situation because we're losing strength yeah we, you know, all the even the shows now are starting to be all over overseas and they only right now they're coming back because you know you know you we as act different we don't care about the covid like that mm -hmm. everybody you know has a different take to it we're opening up so yeah if that didn't ha occur we all the direction was being poured towards the Europe. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, you know. Absolutely. You know, I, mean, I think back it, to how heavyweight boxing used to be, you know, when it was like the biggest, it was the biggest weight class in boxing. Everybody would sit around and wait for that big heavyweight fight. And I feel like now it's not really there. It's the smaller weight classes. Russell weight is on fire right now. The lightweight is on fire right now. You know what I mean? That's right. But that's because so, you have own heavyweight division. That's, it, yeah. Absolutely. Europe, and all my people that I'm ranked are nearby me. Or there's only two heavy American heavyweights, pretty mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. and, yep. You know, <laughs> uh huh. Got I don't know who, everybody else. Even like Andy Ruiz, he's Mexican, even though he's yeah. American. Yeah. Well, we got we got we got By Jennings. So. Oh yeah, oh, we, got, we got Jennings. I, I haven't seen him in a minute. 
Yeah, hopefully he'll be fighting again soon. He's out in camp doing his thing, so hopefully he'll be fighting soon. You know, once again, the business of boxing, they called his fight off. You know how that shit goes, so. Yeah, I like Jennings. Me too. He's a good person, not just in the ring. He could do. So hopefully he'll be fighting again soon. But like you said, it's not. It's, they're not over here, so it's time to bring it back here. Back That's to the Mike Tyson and Riddick Bowe and the, that era. You know what I mean? That's right. So, so. it's actually kind of good that, you know, the news is just broken out the team. You know, Deontay Wilder get his, you know. Yeah, I'm so happy for him. You know, uh, they got to wait a little bit longer and work a little bit harder to get that Tyson Fury-Anthony Joshua fight. Um, but keep it a bad with you, that's what should have happened. They should have did the trilogy right away and then Joshua fight the winner. That's what should have happened anyway. They're trying to push him out the scenario, though. That's what they're trying to do. I, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. But I also think that it had a lot to do with Deontay. That's, you know, because of all the um, excuses and stuff, mm -hmm. I think that, and even if they were valid, I just think that, you know, how the media, you know, how the yeah. media is, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta hold your, your car's chest close to your chest. So I just think that, you know, he should have picked one or, you know what I'm saying, or just ha handle it in a different way. I think okay. that, that caused for the stall, uh, you know, uh, I think if he was doing what he was supposed to be, I think there was enough p power behind him, enough energy, enough people behind him to make that third fight. And look, he still got it. So yeah, I respect it. Yeah, so uh, you know, we'll see what's happening. I'm excited about that. Me I think too. America's gonna be excited about that. Of course, bomb squad. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't yeah. wait to say that. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I, I love him. I'm sorry, but I do. <laughs> so. You know, I'm ready for that. Hopefully, so you, after this fight, are you pushing your way back into, like, title contention? Because I know you challenged for the belt in 2017. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. You know, um, you know, see, my dad was a fighter. My, You know, my little brother, my my uncle, my mom on, you know, on my mom's side, my her dad, you know, owned a boxing um, gym in, my, you know, Muhammad Ali Boxing Gym in Santa Monica back nice. in the uh So boxing is is – in my in every vein, you know what I'm saying? There's I can't even get out of it if I wanted to. It's like it's yeah. it's, it's my karma, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. uh I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you're still young. So. Yeah, yeah, you know, I got my little brother fighting. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm pressing, you know, I have my dad never even fought for a world title. Mm. So for me to even have these positions and these accolades, uh, you know, I, I've I've done I've done very well for, you know, family and the legacy. Um, but, you know, like you said, I'm still young and it ain't over. I no. still a few more things to grab before I get out of here, so. Absolutely. Let me, let me ask you about the little guys right now. Who are some of your faves in a small division? Not the heavyweight, but welterweight on down. Who um, are you rocking with right now? I got a few. I mean, I like all of these guys. I like I like the little, you know, exciting. You know, and then we got people like in my era, like Terrence Crawford. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Sean. That's my that's my number one. So yeah, everybody <laughs> know that though. So uh, you know when I my first national um my first national championship, I had five fights, and um oh. and it was just cool, so cool to watch everybody with their uniforms and all that. Mm -hmm. It was at the Golden Gloves, in mm -hmm. two, I think six, seven, at in Omaha, Nebraska. Wow. Yeah. So. And he was there, you know. It was him, nice. a lot of other people there that you know that are fighting today. And um, it's just cool to see how we all grown up, and you know, um, you know how we've done in the amateurs, and now we're doing in the pros. And to watch everybody's um, you know journey, you know, what I'm saying like I, I, I know Terrence Crawford from from that side. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. in that gym when um, him and, and Gary got into it. You know, what I'm saying I was there at most of these times. You know, what I'm saying. Mm tournament or something like that, Sean Porter, all of these guys, you know what I'm saying? So um, it's cool to just watch the journey. You know, I've seen him struggle and go through those, um, you know, those stages. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, I've seen him, it, it turn over for him as well. So, uh, you know, I just tip my hat off to all these guys that are still in it, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely. So June 19th, you're back. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Ready to go. And so after that, then, like you said, you work your way into title contention again. 
Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I'm, I'm like I'm already in the top ten, and all. I mean, I've, uh, other than the IBF, they just moved me down to eleven. But you know, when we look at when I look at the the competition, mm -hmm. uh, I'm always I'm gonna be right there. Yeah. At, you know what I'm saying? So um, now that I've wiggled my way there, you know, uh, it took a lot a lot of time. It didn't have anything to do with me fighting. It's just a lot of business stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Um, which is that's what know, sucks. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it sucks because, like, let's say you want to buy a house, and you go pick a house, it's for sale. Mm -hmm. That is for sale. The person that owns that house want to sell it to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you want to buy it. Mm -hmm. Common ground there. You know what I'm saying? But in boxing, there's really no common ground. Yeah. That, you know, unless it's it's in a different manner. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, it rare is 90% of the time it's not on there's no common ground so it's uh take 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 you know so it's always going to be hard to work yeah. when I really want to work with you <laughs> yeah man to me that's why I think it's the business keeping a lot of these fights from being made that people want to see absolutely it's not the box like you said it's not the fighters they're not ducking each other he's not scared he's not scared to me I feel like it's the business of it people sometimes it's greed somebody feels they should get more money than what they're worth I'm sorry I'm gonna say it and then, um, yeah, it's very, I mean, we're all fighters, man. We didn't, so, some of these guys got a hundred, I got 150 amateur fights. These guys got a, hundreds of amateur fights, you know, and, 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 and a lot of pro fights. We're not scared to get in the ring. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, you know, we just trying to make sure that, you know, everything is everything, you know, especially right. we have to play. We have to play it by the rules, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. They get mad. Like, like the move I just made. They got, they're mad at me right now uh, because, you know, I chose to secure the bag. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I chose to feed my family at the end. As of the you day. should. <laughs> uh, you know, exactly. So, so. Uh, they're going to get mad. And that's why the whole, you know, the Floyd hate thing and, you know, everybody's hating, um, you know, but it's always going to, it's always going to be like that. You know, I think that's part of boxing. It is. And I feel like, just like just like I go to work, and we go to work for our jobs, like you said, it's what I do for a living. You should get paid. So, a lot of times, that's why these fights are not being made because I really hope though that that because there's like you said, there's a lot of little great smaller weight classes that could just get it. They could go round robins, you know, win, lose, or draw. It's gonna be exciting to watch these things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They could, you know, fight each other, and then you wouldn't know who's gonna win. So. All the all these little guys, you know, there's different little classes. Like I said, they've got that Terrence Crawford, Sean Porter, you know, that I like that, you know, that's a different class. And then you got those younger fighters like, you know, Devin Haney, you know, mm -hmm. Bonte. Mm hmm Shakur. Shakur. That's my guy. I, yep. <laughs> like Shakur. Sharp. Yep. Um, you know, so these these guys, these fights we wanna see, you know. We we've yeah. seen snippets of uh sparring and stuff like that. We ready to to let ready, it, ready to see the full shebang, but like you said, you know they can make it happen. Hopefully, but business it, it don't always go down like that. So yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So let me see if any questions for you. As long as you fighting, bro, your dad was a legend too. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Did you beat Tyson Fury in the amateurs? That's what somebody asked. Man, I I beat him in the amateurs. They didn't give me the win, but we're in in the amateurs. When you go overseas and you fight, you fight twice usually. Mm -hmm. You fight three times. It's a, duel. Okay. it's a duel. So I went over to England and fought Tyson Fury. And usually they have two teams, an A team and a B team. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You guys fight your A team, A team fight A team, and then the A team fight the B team when you go to the next little city, you know what I'm saying, in England. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but there was only one set of heavyweights, me and Tyson Fury. Oh wow! Okay. So to fight each other twice, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I end up fighting them. Basically, I I know I won. A lot of uh, people that was there, only the people that was there. It's crazy because Billy Joe Sanders was there. There was a lot of uh, fighters that was wow. there. Wow. Uh, what's his name? Carl Frampton was there. Nice. And we oh, we blew out. We we blew. Out. Man, I think we knocked out most of the uh, the guys though, for real. <laughs> It was, I think we won all the fights. There was not one fight we lost. And Tyson Fury was like the, um, you know, it was like the main event. It was like, and he couldn't, it was a black tie event over there. You know what I'm saying? It was mm -hmm. real. He just, and they were getting, they were getting beat up. You know, I don't know if you remember Kaid Muhammad. Mm -mm. 
Lil Kai, uh, he fought <laughs> there. Um, Roberto Medikin. Um, mm -hmm. Who else was with, on our time? Uh, I think Sean Porter. Sean Porter was there. Sean Porter was there? Okay. Sean Porter was there. It was a and lot he was fighting at like 165 or something, wasn't he? That's right. Big, oh, my God. <laughs> and he fought, um, what's the dude's name? Uh, I forgot his name. His name is Chunky or something. He's from England. He won a gold. He just retired not too long ago. I know exactly who you're talking about, too. I can't, I can't picture his name, though. I know who you're talking about, though. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's who he... Uh, you talking about... Wait, 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 no, no. The Gale? Yeah, the Gale. Yeah, the Gale. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I know who... Okay, okay. He, he fought him? He fought James the Gale. Oh, wow. I remember the James the Gale was like, I, I can't believe I would never have a problem with this little guy. Like, there wow. ain't, no, ain't no way. He couldn't believe in his head how... Somebody like Sean Porter at 165 could give these guys problems. Wow. And I was like... I heard he was good as hell in the amateur suit, Sean was, Porter. I heard that. Absolute animal. I heard that. Five, too. Yep, I heard that. that he was I good. used to support him all the time. Oh, really? Yes. That just shows you how big he is. He's strong. <laughs> so welterweight. He's strong as hell. Strong, strong, strong. I'm, I was actually... And I know the people like... Uh, the people that we're around, like... Um, that know... To see him even get to the weight class he's done is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't know how much dedication and hard work that dude got because he was at 165. As not one fighter has done what he's done when it comes to getting at 165 and maintaining 147, 140. Yeah, he definitely maintained it. <laughs> and not have not one weight. You've never heard of him make, have really one weight problem. Never. So, I mean, he stay, well, he stay in the gym. He stay training. That's he, what I'm saying. Yeah, he stay in the gym. He has, you know, he's impeccable when it comes to that consistency. You know what I'm saying? He's, uh, yeah, he's a dog. There's a lot of fights like that. Uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. The coming from that era uh, has been, you know, mm -hmm. just grow up in. And it says, uh, is Vakman still training you? No, nah, no, nah, uh, we kind of made a little, but that's, you know, they're my family, they're my people, you know. Mm -hmm. Him and uh, his, his son, I love yeah. his son. <laughs> yeah, Brock, that's, that's my brother, you know, so, uh, and it's Sharif, you know what I'm saying, they're my family, we we all grew up in Vegas, so. Nice. That was going to be my family, you know what I'm saying, so. And you always do most of your camp out in Vegas, that's where you train most of the time? Yeah, um, yeah, most of the time, either that or L.A., I go to L.A. Okay, go okay. Back. Uh, Back and forth. Okay, nice, oh. nice. Well, I'm 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 glad you finally came on here to talk. Yeah, to me. I mean it's been back and forth for like months, but you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I'm horrible when it comes to the the community. I, I see. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Is your fight gonna be on TV? Like, where can we watch it? Televised? Killer. I'm on. I'm on the Tiafimo Camboso undercard. Oh, you, gonna, didn't say, you didn't say that? Come on, I'll now. Be, you got to put that out there. Okay. I'm, the chief, I'm probably going to be the chief uh, um, on the undercard, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's the, on the, Triller. That's dope. <laughs> All right. So June 19th on Triller. Yeah. Uh, Tia Fimo can boast his undercard. We'll be, we'll be watching. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You just I, left, that part, you left yeah. that part out. So. I've I done a deal with, <laughs> other than the, me fighting Philip Herkovich, I did a, a, a multi fight deal with Triller. So wow, I'm okay. Next couple months on Triller, I don't, obviously they got crazy fights. So I'm gonna be on somebody's crazy undercards. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But, um, you know celebrities and you know older boxers nice. and stuff like that. Snoop, Uncle Snoop over there. Yes, yeah, my man, I, I love him. On yeah. the set, he said, "On the set, cuz." Yeah. <laughs> you gotta love him. I love him, yo. So you did a multiple fight deal with Triller. That's dope. We should have talked about that earlier. I know you did that. Dope. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, so yep. we'll be seeing, we'll be, we'll be seeing your face. Now you're gonna have to be on Instagram. Come on, Mike. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I know, I Some know. Bullshit, man. <laughs> so, I need you to push me. Like I said, I, please. I'm hard time getting on these things, talking. And I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't do too bad. But and you speak very well, very articulate. I'm gonna hit you in your DM, give you my info. We are gonna get you on Instagram because this, this shit don't make no sense. You got a whole multi fight deal with Triller. We don't even know. That's some bullshit. Right. So. <laughs> We're working. I'm working. Yeah, we'll be watching. So June 19th on the card of uh, T.O. Yep. And Cambo says, and we'll be tuned in, and I will get you back on here before you fight. 
Let's do it for sure. You already. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you.